What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Jamie D Show. Woo! Okay, this is the second time I've done this, and I do not know why I keep doing this. Wow. Yo, welcome to the Elgin slash Chicago land area because I don't know why I keep forgetting to bring out my handy dandy bell. Welcome to the Jamie D Show, everybody. I don't know why I keep forgetting that. That is literally a part of the Jamie D Show brand. Please forgive me. <laughs> it's like I got everything prepared. Me and Matt have just been sitting here cruising, making sure we're ready for the show. I'm like, yeah, I'm on time. I'm loving this Jamie D of 2024, and I just keep forgetting this dang bill. But anyway, welcome to the Jamie D Show, live on WRMN AM 1410 and 96.7 FM every Monday through Friday from 1 p.m. until 2 p.m. CST, and also live in Las Vegas, Nevada on KSHP AM 1400 and 107.1 FM every Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. until 12 p.m. PST. Yes, we're live in Elgin, the Chicagoland area, and in Las Vegas, Nevada. Get into it. Get into it. We're live on YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook as well at The Jamie D Show. That's T-H-E-J-A-I-M-E-D-E-E-S-H-O-W. And I'm also live right now on the Instagram at It's Jamie D. That's I-T-S-J-A-I-M-E-D-E-E. I want you all to know I will always acknowledge your comments when I see them and they're coming up on the feed, okay? So if you're not able to call in, make sure to comment live because I will acknowledge it. But if you are able to call in and you want to talk about what we're actually having a conversation about in that moment, feel free to call in at 847-931-1410. Again, that's 847-931-1410. All right, let's get into the show rundown. We're going to talk about the daily news. And then we're going to have a social conversation about are today's kids to grown. Now, I'm super excited for this because when I came in to kind of reflect on my show rundown and make sure I had everything together, everybody upstairs, because there's a lot of people working at this radio station, I love it, were like talking about kids and disciplining their kids. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. That's literally my social topic of today. Of today, And everyone started cackling. So I'm super excited to get into this. All right. So per the Shade Room, Harvard University's first black president, Claudine Gay announced her resignation after just six months into her tenure. This marks the shortest term in the university's history. According to ABC News, her departure comes amid allegations of plagiarism over her academic writings and following black backlash over her response at a congressional hearing to questions about anti-Semitism on U.S. college campuses. Reports state Gay testified before Congress in December of 2023 alongside the former University of Pennsylvania's president, Liz McGill, and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology president, Sally Cornblood. The women spoke about how they are handling anti-Semitism on their respective campuses in the wake of the October 7th Hamas attack on Israel. The conversation got heated between Gay and Rep. Elise Stefanik after asking Gay the hypothetical question, quote, does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Harvard's rules on bullying and harassment? Gay responded, quote, the rules around bullying and harassment are quite specific. And if the context in which that language is used amount to bullying and harassment, then we take, and then pause, we take action against it, end quote. This is my thing. I love everybody, whether black, white, Hispanic, purple, whatever, ethnicity, color you are, whether you're gay, bi, questioning, trans, I, lesbian, I don't care. As long as you're not hurting yourself, other people, or animals, do you. That's something I've been saying on my live morning radio show and now my live afternoon radio show for the past six and a half months. However, we got to be very realistic when we're talking about what's happening in our social climate nowadays. And there is still a dumb and unnecessary race war. We're still fighting over stuff that does not matter. We're still pushing people out of positions because of what they look like, because of what they identify as, and not because of the work they're actually doing in that role. And that's what really bothers me. It bothers me so much when people try to push people out of a role because they didn't want them there in the first place. They hire, they hire certain people for a statistic and then do everything that they possibly can to remove them from, from that role. And it, it's just insane. I, I really hate it. I really, really, really hate it. And then I want to have this conversation too because I've had this conversation in my personal life where people would be like, oh, 
You know, the Jews have so much power or the gay people have so much power and they're able to just get things removed and cancel people and they run cancel culture and all this stuff. And black people don't have that type of uh, power. And I'm, I try to tell people all the time, everybody has power when people come together. But you have to remember the majority is still Caucasian men. You have to also remember a lot of these other demographics that do have quote unquote more power are still majority Caucasian men or ran by Caucasian men. If you look at the LGBTQIA community, yeah, there's all different types of people in that community. But the majority of people in that community, especially those in the actual organization, in the community are ran by more Caucasian men than not. Look at the Jewish community. Same thing. And people don't realize that. So in, instead of saying that, you know, this one group has all the power, remember who are, who are actually a part of that group. Remember why those specific groups are standing up for themselves. And remember, everybody has their time. One day is going to be the Jews, the next day is gays, the next day is going to be the blacks. Somebody is going to have an issue and then a group is going to stand up and people are going to have to stand up for their rights. And that's just how life goes. People just have their turn. And it's, it's sad that that's the reality we live in. I hope that we can move from those type of spaces and those realities because people just deserve to live life. Stop all this race war. Stop all this hate. Let's be positive. Let's be happy. It's 2024. Please, let's change some things. So 2023 was too ghetto for me. Too much. All right, y'all going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to talk about some more daily news. And then later in the show, we're going to have a conversation about our kids too grown. The YouTube, Gina Chandler out of Chicago, Illinois. I see you in the YouTube. We have Wynn on the Instagram. We have Tika on the Instagram. We have Sean the Legend on the Instagram. We have Tense Not Needed, Justin Chuck, Petty Pew. People from all over the world are listening in to the Jamie D Show. For those who are listening to your cars right now, I appreciate y'all. You are very much loved. I'll be right back. Stick around. This is the Jamie D Show. Taqueria Las Mumbres, Crystal Lake's authentic Mexican restaurant on Grand Street is open for carry-out. For over 15 years, Taqueria Las Cumbres has been serving up all of your favorite Mexican dishes and doing it better than the rest. Recently voted the best in McHenry County. Stop in and carry out the authentic taste of Mexico and see for yourself. Support local for lunch and dinner today and place an order from Taqueria Las Cumbres. Call 815-455-8200 for Taqueria Las Cumbres of downtown Crystal Lake. Ever take your car through the auto emissions lane only to experience the sinking feeling that your car has failed the test? Don't fret. Let Meineke at 376 Sundown in South Elgin fix the problem for you. Meineke's mechanics will determine the exact problem with your vehicle and suggest necessary repairs with Meineke's diagnostic service. Pass that test with help from the trained Meineke technicians. Call today for your appointment. 847-888-9644. That's 847-888-9644. Weekday mornings on the First Shift Show, we talk about community issues, like whether or not we should remove the dams right here along the Fox River. You've got Elgin has a huge issue with infrastructure, with the drinking water. St. Charles has buildings built on the river with big concrete abutments, and it's going to be an astronomical amount of money. Yeah. And I believe the prevailing sentiment at the board meeting the other night was, we are so far away from this ever becoming reality. It's the First Shift, weekday mornings from 6 to 10 a.m., right here on WRMN. Hey there, it's Tammy Scully with the Radio Shop Show, inviting you to live large for less by listening to the Radio Shopping Show weekdays from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., 4 to 6 p.m., and on Saturdays from 8 until noon. Check out our website at wrmn1410.com or visit us at 14 Douglas Avenue in Elgin, home of local radio for 75 years, including the Radio Shopping Show for over 40 years. We are WRMN AM 1410 and WRMN 1410 Radio on Facebook. This is Marky B of The First Shift, and when I feel like getting serious in the mornings, I call on Jeff Ward of TheFirstWord.net because he has the solutions to all of our local and national issues. Every time I talk about this immigration issue, people accuse me, oh, you just want to let them all in. No, we need to take care of our own. You know, of course, if we cut our defense budget by 10%, we could take care of everybody, migrants and our own, and we'd still be spending more money than the next 9 to 10 countries combined. It's The First Shift, weekday mornings from 6 to 10 a.m., right here on WRMN. Is your company active on social media? 
Powerful and optimized social media profiles give you the biggest bang for the buck. Establishing a program that concentrates on building and maintaining an audience that is best suited for your business will turn your audience into customers. Reach out to corecom.com for help with your social media. They offer free consultations and can be reached at korcomm.com or 224-227-3371. Hey, hey, hey. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Jamie D Show. Woo! Live on KSHP AM 1400 and 107.1 FM every Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. until 12 p.m. PST out of Las Vegas, Nevada. And now live on WRMN AM 1410 and 96.7 FM every Monday through Friday from 1 p.m. until 2 p.m. CST out of the Elgin and Chicago land area. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're also live on YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook at The Jamie D Show. That's spelled T-H-E-J-A-I-M-E-D-E-E-S-H-O-W. And we're now live on Instagram at It's Jamie D. That's I-T-S-J-A-I-M-E-D-E-E. This is a real live radio show. I know y'all see that logo right there. Y'all see it? Y'all see that sign right there that says on the air? We love to see it. Woo! We can bring that bell one more time. All right, so if you're just now tuning in, I'm going over some daily news. We were just talking about how this president literally resigned after just six months in her into our tenure at Harvard. And man, I swear they'd be pushing people out. All right, as posted by Hollywood Unlocked, a popular Brazilian YouTuber was discovered buried in the backyard of a neighboring couple. The circumstances surrounding his death have taken a bizarre twist, with the couple claiming that he died during an alleged cocaine-filled encounter. Carlos Enrique Medeiros, age 26, was reported missing on Christmas Day after he failed to return home from a dinner with friends. His family, family tirelessly searched hospitals and wooded areas in hopes of finding him. However, their search took a, took a tragic turn when they received a tip that led them to the backyard of a couple he had visited during the holidays. Upon arriving at the couple's residence, Medeiros' family noticed a suspicious mound of dirt. According to the New York Post, their worst fears were confirmed when they uncovered their loved one's T-shirt buried beneath the soil. The police were immediately alerted, and a subsequent investigation led to the arrest of the couple who owned the house. Renan Jose, 28, and Caroline Molino, 24, and pregnant, shocked authorities by claiming that Maderos died while engaging in drug use and sexual activity with Malio's sister. According to police chief Luis Roberto Ferreira, Hel Helminister, the couple's version of events is that Madero suffered an overdose during intercourse leading to his death. The couple allegedly buried, buried him out of panic and uncertainty about what to do with the body. An autopsy will be conducted to determine the exact cause of Madero's death. My thing is this. We're all adults. Sex is a natural part of life. Get your rocks off. Have a good time. Enjoy yourself. But just be safe. Please be safe because we live in a climate where it's like half of the people are like, yeah, sex is great. Woo, woo, woo. And the other half is like, oh, my gosh, sex is scary and sex is not human-like and whatever, whatever. Listen, live your life. Don't hurt anybody else. Don't hurt other people. And don't hurt animals. But in this situation, if somebody hurts themselves and you're involved, call for help. Call the police. You want people to believe that this guy – passed from an overdose and sexual encounter and you guys did nothing to him and instead of saying hey police we did nothing to this man we we're just involved in a sexual encounter with him he died while we were doing stuff help you guys decided to bury the body that says hey we killed this young man am i lying Am I lying? Let me ask people who are on the Instagram right now. Love Talk, corsetic comedian, Hollywood Rails. As Squeeze Me says, congratulations. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. But let me know how you guys feel by commenting live. Do you feel as though that if this person actually died from an overdose, that these people aren't telling the truth? Because why would they bury this man if they had nothing to do with his death? If you had nothing to do with his death, call the police. Sex is okay. That's not illegal. And if you guys are afraid that you all will get caught for doing drugs that are illegal, 
it'd be better for you guys to get caught for doing drugs than be caught for homicide. <sighs> Just like Kara said on the YouTube, do the right thing. Do the do, but do the right thing. And I completely, completely agree. As reported by ABC7 Chicago, an Elgin police officer charged with possessing child pornography has resigned. Jordan Collins was arrested on December 4th of 2023. Investigators said during a search, they found evidence of child pornography at his home. Elgin police launched an internal investigation. When they told Collins they would be interrogated, he resigned. Quote, the Elgin Police Department immediately launched an internal investigation with the city's independent investigator following Collins' arrest. End quote, says Chief of Police Anna Laley. Quote, Collins was notified of a scheduled interrogation and chose to tender his, registration, his resignation, I keep saying registration, rather than participate in the police department's internal investigation, end quote. Collins has been charged with eight counts of possession of child pornography and two counts of reproduction of child pornography. That's insane. There are so many people who are doing great things in many different career fields. And while I truly believe there are great police officers out there, there are just bad people who get into every part of a career field in our world. And there's just bad people in the bunch. And fortunately, this guy was one of them. I mean, it's illegal. And it even if it wasn't legal, it should still be shunned to have possession of child pornography, to do anything with a child of that sort, because ch children do not have the right to consent. And even if they were given the right to consent, because I know the legal age is different in all different cities and states and other countries, no. No, 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 no. We're never going to condone that. We're not. We're not. We're not. I'm going to leave it at that. If you guys agree, disagree, comment live on the chat. But this man did not just have child pornography. He also had two counts of reproduction of it as well, which, again, shows that mm -mm -mm, you need to go to jail. That's just my thoughts. I don't know. Let me know if you guys agree. Kara says she's agree. People on Instagram say they agree. And Corsetta Comedian says resign. He's need to be in prison. How about retirement? <laughs> I mean, same stuff. All right. Fox 5 Vegas wrote that after Clark County commissioners unanimously passed an ordinance to keep foot traffic flowing on pedestrian bridges on Las Vegas Boulevard, the ACLU of Nevada promised legal action. Let me say that one more time, y'all. Fox 5 Vegas wrote that after Clark County commissioners unanimously passed an ordinance to keep foot traffic flowing on pedestrian bridges on Las Vegas Boulevard, the ACLU of Nevada promised legal action. The county says stopping to take a photograph is okay. The issue is the act of stopping and causing others to stop. If you do that, you can be charged with a misdemeanor and a $1,000 fine. Quote, for officers, there's a challenge of not being able to see what is happening on the bridges, end quote. LVMPD Under Sheriff Andrew Walsh said during Tuesday's commissioners meeting, quote, when the pedestrian bridges get packed, it is very difficult for officers to get onto those bridges, end quote. Walsh argued that an ordinance like this is necessary in the name of public safety, particularly because Metro Police has reported before that these bridges are hot spots for crimes. Quote, we believe this ordinance will help us reduce crime and disorder on the pedestrian bridges and help keep our locals and tourists safe. End quote. He summarized, an incoming legal challenge from the ACLU could derail this new ordinance, although they're trying to make this a thing. Quote, we think the ordinance violates the First Amendment. End quote. ACLU of Nevada Executive Director Arthur Hausbala told Fox 5. Now, I'm so sorry if I just butchered that guy's name. Quote, we don't think it will hold up in courts, end quote. Author was not convinced by the reasoning for the new law. Quote, they didn't provide any actual specifics or data outside generic hyperbole that suggested that they need this ordinance, end quote, he argued. The ordinance will be enforced through signs and verbal warnings to start. Even though, again, there is no specifics or data outside of generic hyperbole. Hy hyperbole. Wow, geez. <laughs> hyperbole. Excuse me. Quote, for those that first disobey the signage, officers will inform them and educate them on the law in an attempt to generate voluntary compliance. And quote, Walsh explained, quote, if they refuse, officers will have the ability to issue based on this law to issue a citation or issue an arrest. But our goal is to generate voluntary compliance from members of the community and tourists alike, end quote. 
A crime and public safety report read to the commission Tuesday showed a 25% rise in disorderly conduct on the strip over the last five years. Now, we know there's a lot of horrible crimes happening in and out of Las Vegas. Vegas is not what it used to be. And uh, there's, there's a lot you can say about that. I want to just say this. I think that law is dumb. I think that ordinance is dumb. But what I do appreciate is that they're at least going to give people a warning beforehand. I think a lot of laws and ordinance should come with warnings beforehand because a lot of people don't. They just don't. And that's the truth. However, we do know that there's always bad apples in the bunch and they're going to misuse those warnings, disregard those warnings and not even issue a warning and just use their power for bad. So praying for Las Vegas, hoping that everything goes well because the crime is rising. All right. We're going to have a conversation on our today's kids to grown. Yes, stick around. This is the Jimmy D Show live on KSHP AM 1400 and 107.1 FM every Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. until 12 p.m. PST out of Las Vegas, Nevada, and live on WRMN AM 1410 and 96.7 FM in Elgin and Chicagoland area every Monday through Friday from 1 p.m. until 2 p.m. CST. So I'm going where it is. And lunchtime on Sunday, right after church. Be sure to listen to a great weekend leisure show. Barbecue Radio Network, right here on WRMN. Show host Andy Kroneman and Todd Johns are seasoned veterans on the grill and behind the mic. Barbecue Network is dedicated to bringing grillers tips, techniques, and products that are sure to enhance everyone's backyard barbecue adventure. So listen every Sunday at noon, right here on WRMN, AM 1410. And fire up the grill. Hi, I'm Arky B from the First Shift Morning Show, and on my show, I often engage in long, hard, deep conversations with my listeners about everyday life. This morning, we had hash browns, hash browns and eggs, and ham. Well, what else is going on, Susan? You think I'd look good with hair the same color as yours? Totally. Well, anything on the uh, agenda for today? No. Now that's powerful radio. So listen to the First Shift weekday mornings beginning at 6 a.m. right here on WRMN. For local information, sometimes in the mornings, listen to Marky B and Larry Jones on the first shift. Maybe we need to get a radio intern in to help you. Maybe so. Somebody that you won't have to pay and you can treat them tough. I can you haze them. You can't haze. You'll get fired. <laughs> Remember that guy from Northwestern? Yeah. Gone. Did he really do it? You don't have to really do it. If somebody says you did, yeah. good enough. Maybe I'm going to accuse you of hazing me. I don't have to prove it. <laughs> it's the first shift. Weekdays from 6 to 10 a.m. right here on WRMN. McGrath Nissan in Elgin is located on Route 19, East Chicago Street, Irving Park Road, bottom line, Elgin. And McGrath Nissan offers exceptional customer care from sales to service, as well as a highly rated body shop and on-site rental service. McGrath Nissan is your local one-stop shop for the best deals and the best service. So let them show you why generations of customers keep coming back. Don't leave town to buy your car. Make it McGrath Nissan, 945 East Chicago Street in Elgin. Experts say regular auto maintenance is one of the most important things for your car. Meineke Car Care Center at 376 Sundown Road in South Elgin covers all your automotive needs. From oil changes, brake services, and emission testing, Meineke's expert staff provides hard work and dedication with the utmost professionalism. Need an oil change? Visit Meineke in South Elgin for their 23-point inspection. Call 847-888-9644. Turn up, y'all. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Jamie D Show. Woo! Live on KSH 2 AM 1400 and 107.1 FM out of Las Vegas, Nevada, every Monday through Friday from 7 AM to 12 AM PST, and live in the Elgin slash Chicagoland area on WRMN AM 1410 and 96.7 FM every Monday through Friday from 1 PM until 2 PM CST. Yes, get into it. We're also live on YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook at The Jamie D Show. That's spelled T-H-E-J-A-I-M-E-D-E-E-S-H-O-W. This is a real live radio show. And like Leah says, this is the midday magic, so get into it. Yes, if you're just now tuning in, I went over some daily news, and now we're going to have a conversation about are today's kids 
too grown. I want you guys to know you can always call in at 847-931-1410. That's 847-931-1410 if you want to get in on the conversation. Again, 847-931-1410. That's the number to use to call in if you want to get into this conversation with me live on the radio. Now, if you're not able to comment or call live on the radio, go to one of the streaming platforms, YouTube, Instagram, whatever, and comment live, and I will acknowledge your comments. I appreciate y'all. All right, let's get into this. Because, <laughs> be real, real, real honest, this social topic is going to be a little challenging for me. Because I'm a single African-American man with no kids. I turned the big 3-0 this year. I'm calling it my flirty 30 because there's nothing about me that is dirty, y'all. It never will be. I get the goofiness behind it. I'm like, oh, my God, don't say 30-30. But one of my goals this year is to watch what I say. I really do believe words have power and manifestation, whether on purpose or unintention unintentional, is real. So I always thought I'd be married and have kids by 28. And that didn't happen. <laughs> Can I say that I'm sad? Not so much, because while I love kids, I personally have so much more life to live and experience. Not saying that you can't do that with kids. So people who have kids, please don't come attack me. That's not what I'm saying. But having kids adds an extra life hurdle to jump over. And I'd rather not have to deal with kids when I don't fully have my own life together. And I haven't even done the majority of the worldly things I wanted to do yet. Now, as it pertains to getting married, that part I am a little sad about because why is dating so ghetto, y'all? <laughs> I mean, people make dating way harder than it needs to be. There's so many people walking around living in one big trauma response and not seeking help. And it's so annoying. There are just so many hurt people hurting people in this world. And it's just a vicious cycle that does not stop. And while I know a lot of people who are like, F that, I'm going to just become a parent of my own, that's great for them. Yeah, I ain't doing that. <laughs> I'm just not. I know a lot of people, actually, who have kids, single, who literally had a surrogate, adopted, used one of their friends. I, I know several people in different communities, whether straight, gay, male, female, who have their own kids and did it with the help of somebody, but they were always going to parent their kids by themselves just because they wanted a kid so bad and they didn't want to wait for another person. And I understand some people want to have their kids at a younger age. Some people want to have it at a middle age. And some people don't even want to have it at all. Or even at an older age. That's fine. Do you? It ain't for me. <laughs> it's just not. That, that's just how I feel. I want kids, but not that bad. When the time comes, the right person comes, and the right time presents itself, I'm aiming for like two, no more than three kids. I believe I'd be an amazing dad, but I'm also scared about parenting. And I'm just be real with y'all. There are so many crazy things happening in this world. And sometimes I ask myself, do I want to bring a child into this mess? I hardly want to be of this world. <laughs> no, but seriously, the world is ghetto. The people who run our political space are dumb and don't truly care about the well-being of everyone. There's all these stupid and unnecessary race wars. People are worried about the wrong stuff and can't mind their business. Diseases are at an all-time high. People are broke and are having a hard time recovering because of workforce. our workforce climate is trash. People are going crazy and are harming slash killing other innocent people for no reason. Drugs are ruining our communities. We are running low on resources of all kinds. Homelessness is at an all-time high. Education costs too much. Living costs too much. Nobody's perfect, but are trying their hardest to be on social media to be perfect, causing many people to have lack of self-worth. The stuff we see and hear and consume in all forms of media are ruining our minds, bodies, and souls, and so much other crap. It's just crazy. I feel like there's way too much that you have to protect your kid from nowadays. And I'm not even doing the best job protecting myself from that stuff. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but woo. <laughs> I also don't know what type of parenting style I will have. I want to be gentle, nice and warm with my kids, but I also believe in several forms of, dis of discipline. However, everything is child abuse nowadays. So I'm like, bro. can I even parent my child how to want to? Not saying I'm going to be over there beating my kids, but some of y'all don't even... And currently aren't even disciplining y'all kids. And that's why we have all these crazy people roaming the earth. I know a lot of adults who are due for a spanking. I'm going to say it again. I know a lot of adults who are due for a spanking because, Lord, who raised some of y'all folks? 
I'm serious. Some of y'all are just bad for no darn reason, and I don't understand. So when I say I'm a little scared, you got to understand my feelings are valid. You, you just never know what you'll be up against as a parent. You never know who is going to interfere with your kids. You never know who how your kids are going to turn out. And <laughs> to me, that's just scary. Now, I do see people said they are calling in. The number to call in is 847-931-1410. If you're calling in, make sure you're talking about this topic we're having a conversation about. Again, that's 847-931-1410. I know we said some people just some people just said on social media that they called in. If we missed your call, give us a call back and we're going to get into the conversation. Do we have somebody on line one right now, Matt? All right. Who do we have on line one? Hi, it's Corseted Comedian. What's up, Corseted Comedian? Where are you calling in from? I'm calling in from Las Vegas. We got Las Vegas in the house. Yes. What's up? What's up? Once you got to talking about the parents that need spanking, <laughs> as a dominatrix, <laughs> you are correct. Yes. There are people who need spanking. More men should be signing up to get spanking. And please follow Corseted Comedian <laughs> on Instagram. So that I can correct you and you can properly correct your bag. Okay, now let me let me tell you this real quick. Let me ask you this real quick because <laughs> this is still live radio. And you know, we gotta watch what we say. But you're a dominatrix. And you said there are some people who need spanking. Now I'm not talking about the people who enjoy it, corsetic comedian. <laughs> I'm talking about Neither there are people, people who need it. <laughs> you think I'm in this business because men enjoy it? No. There are people who need some corrections. You said you enjoy it, I'm screaming. I enjoy it. It's not for their enjoyment, no. no. So let me ask you this. I'm crying and corrected. I am a therapist first. Period. You know what? A therapist first. We love to hear it. Do you have kids? Uh, 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 you don't have I kids at all? I this on the radio. Uh, I, I call my belly a daycare center. I, I'm not doing that. I'm not <laughs> doing that because I care about the world. Now let me ask you this. Why don't you want to have kids? Well, the world is really messed up. You're not wrong. You're it's not wrong. It's too hard. It's too expensive. It, it is too expensive. Let me ask you this. Do you and, feel as though that mm -hmm. it's... Go ahead. Oh, when, uh, when you were talking about uh, the bad children, bad children come from bad parents. You're right. You know what? Say it again. Bad children come from bad parents. They That's surely it. do. Okay, I want to ask you this. Do you feel as though that your parents disciplined you the correct way when you were growing up? Absolutely. Neglect, neglect, <laughs> neglect. That's the way to go. Uh, you really think neglecting your kids is the way to go? Jeez. So in the church, keep you in the church confused. <laughs> I am deceased. And see, this is what I'm talking about. There are people out there who don't know how to raise their kids. So do you think that I, I you're... Went Christian, <laughs> I went to Christian school. Oh, you know what? Christian school. I'm all for God. And I'm I, all for that. Do what you need to do. Well, do, you think, do you think you're going to ever have kids, that's though? That's how I found my calling. That's how I found my calling. I watched this big brother beat the brakes off these little white boys. And I said, me too, Lord. Me please, too for you. Please, if you're not going to start that. <laughs> All right, last question. Do you think that you're going to ever have kids? Me? Uh, eventually, I'll have an accident. If it, oh, he's got please. Enough not money. eventually. I'm going to have an accident. And this is why you're called the Corsetic Comedian. Thank you so much for calling in to my live radio show, The Jamie D Show, which is live on WRMN AM 1410 and 96.7 FM out of Elgin in Chicago, Illinois. And on KSHP AM 1400 and 107.1 FM out of Las Vegas, Nevada. We love having real live conversations because this is a real live radio show. I appreciate that. I'm telling y'all, if you want to have kids, do it. Enjoy it. But remember, some of y'all kids need some disciplines and some of y'all need them too, okay? <laughs> Thank All right. you for having me, Jamie. Thank I appreciate you. it. And some of y'all ugly folk need to not have kids. Per hey, period. Period, period, period. All right, thank you. <laughs> Bye, baby. Bye-bye. All right, we're going to go on a quick break. When we come back, we're going to have some more conversation. Thank you so much for calling in. Seriously, 847-931-1410. Call in. This is a real live radio show. Now, this is radio. It's a podcast. We're going to do all the crazy stuff. Stuff out. This isn't a podcast. I do not want to ask this stuff. All right. Take a quick break. Jamie D. Show. Coming back. More social conversation. 
family owned for over 40 years with three locations around the Elgin area, Beef Villa is open and ready to serve you. Stop in or drive through and get your lunch or dinner hot and fast. Enjoy burgers, dogs, chicken, and of course, beef is waiting for you at either Elgin locations or South Elgin location of Beef Villa. Stop in for the Friday fish special, Villa Burger, pulled pork, or the incredible salads available from Beef Villa. Need help feeding a large group? Catering is always easy with Beef Villa. Go to beefvilla.com for catering options. That's beefvilla.com. Listen this Sunday afternoon to Handle on the Law. So uh, here you are getting the bill. Don't even open it. And you simply put deceased. You're going to get another bill. Uh, I would put, do you understand she's dead? Question mark. Uh, you're going to get another one. Exclamation point at this point. Do you understand so that she is completely unequivocally uh, dead? <laughs> so deceased returned to sir. Yeah, yeah. And do that a few times. It's Handle on the Law this Sunday afternoon from 4 to 7 right here on WRMN. What's up, Elgin in the Chicagoland area? My name is Jamie D, and I'm super excited to announce that my live radio show out of Las Vegas, Nevada, The Jamie D Show, is now here. You will be able to hear my show every Monday through Friday from 1 p.m. until 2 p.m. CST on WRMN AM 1410. I'll be covering entertainment, pop culture, social issues, and more. Make sure to tune in, and if you aren't in your car when I'm live, you can catch me on YouTube at The Jamie D Show. That's T-H-E-J-A-I-M-E-D-E-E-S-H-O-W. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Jamie D Show. Woo! Live on KSB 1400 and 107.1 FM every Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. EST out of Las Vegas, Nevada, and live in Elgin in the Chicagoland area on WRMN AM 1410 and 96.7 FM every Monday through Friday from 1 p.m. into 2 p.m. CST. We're also live on YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook at The Jamie D Show. That's T-H-E-J-A-I-M-E-D-E-E-S-H-O-W. If you want to get some of your behind the scenes, come on over. Check me out. Look at my face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, for just now tuning in, I went over some daily news, and now we're having a conversation on our kids to grown nowadays. So listen, I've been seeing so many conversations on social media about how people aren't raising their kids. Kids aren't being kids anymore. They're not kids anymore. And this new generation of kids are way too grown. And I completely agree. This whole conversation came about because there's this video going viral on social media of these super cute little baby black girls singing Drake's rap song, Rich Baby Daddy, featuring Sexy Red and SZA. And it had the online folks in a tizzy. In the video, you get the little girl singing Sexy Red's verse, which goes like this. Bend that butt over. Let that female body part breathe. Shake that butt, female dog. Hands on your knees. Hands on your knees. Hands on your knees. Shake that butt for Drake. Now shake that butt for me. There isn't a full version of <laughs> the video of these little girls singing karaoke to the song, but the part we do hear them singing is hands on your knees, hands on your knees, shake that butt for Drake, now shake that butt for me. And I laugh because it was so funny reading the try to be clean version <laughs> of those lyrics. I want you all to take a listen to this video and hear the response New Orleans rapper and activist D1 had to say about this video. And let's discuss, do you agree with him or disagree? Are these kids just having innocent fun and lyrics are just lyrics? Or is this too grown for little baby girls and boys and they should be singing, dancing, and doing other stuff and enjoying things like Kids Bop, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, Gracie's Corner, and more? Remember, call in at 847-931-1410. Again, that's 847-931-1410 to give your response or continue commenting on the many social media platforms. I will acknowledge your comments. Take a listen.
Let's try. Let's try. I'm not sure why. Actually, I just want to play it now. Play, play, play it now. But I'm on my All right. I'm not sure why it's not playing. We're going to figure that out during the break. Um, but yeah, so what he's saying is that this music is not okay for little black girls or, or kids in general to be playing. It's not okay for these kids to be listening to this type of music. It's derogatory. It is brainwashing our kids. It's brainwashing our society. And what he's saying is that artists have the responsibility to remember what type of music they're putting out into their community. They're allowing, when I say they're, he said artists are allowing big production companies and labels to put a lot of money in their pockets for them to brainwash their communities, for them to harm their communities, for them to put down their communities. And the music, the media representation, and everything that they're listening to, the kids, and so on and so forth, and they're viewing all the time, this is harming our communities. And that, that's what he was saying. Um, my thought process is this. I agree, but I also disagree. And what I mean by that is, Sometimes music, whether derogatory, whether vulgar, whether not, is made for specific people to enjoy. I like me a look ratchet turn up. I like me a look clean turn up. But I'm also an adult. I also can compartmentalize my thoughts. I also can reflect on what I'm listening to. I also can say, hey, I may be consuming this. Let's also consume some clean stuff, too, so this isn't fueling my mind to think about sexual things or negative things or or be programmed to believe a certain thing about myself. I'm old enough for that. Kids aren't. And so I agree that kids should not be listening to, to this stuff. And when I say I agree that, I disagree that, you know, we should be able to have this type of music out and have a good time, I agree that kids should not be listening to this. I also agree that parents need to be holding an actual role in their kids' lives and making sure that these kids are not listening to these things, making sure kids aren't eating certain things, making sure that these parents are doing things around their kids. A lot of parents want to be their friends' kids. I mean, their kids' friends. And while it's okay to be your kid's friend to a certain extent, a lot of parents overdo it. A lot of parents do too much, and they be their kids' best friends. I mean, telling their kids about every baby mama, baby daddy drama, about what their husband was doing, about what their wife was doing, about what the other parent did wrong, about how they were arguing here, and about how the family members over there are doing all these different things. I feel as though there are a lot of things that should be kept away from kids. Kids should stay in a kid's place. Children should be left in a children's place. Children should be left at the children's table. In 2023, now 2024, people are trying to include the kids' table into the adults' table. And just like Kara said on the Instagram, there needs to be lines and boundaries. And there's not. There's not. It, it's, it's, it's insane that there are a lot of parents out here who just don't care what their kids consume. They give them a iPhone, they give them an Android, they give them a tab, and they say, go, get out of my face, leave me alone. Now these kids are out here watching crazy stuff on YouTube, they're out here watching all these horrific animation, some of these kids are even watching porn when they shouldn't be, like there's, they're listening to music they shouldn't be listening to, it, it, it's insane that we give kids way too much freedom, and I, I personally believe that we need to step up as adults, but also as a community, because it does take a community to raise a child. If you agree or disagree with anything I'm saying, call in at 847-931-1410. Again, that's 847-931-1410. Or continue to comment live on the social media platforms. I personally believe that our kids are our future. 
And we need to make sure that we're paying attention to what our kids are consuming, what our kids are doing out in the real world, what our kids are being taught in schools. Got to be. We got to remember these are the next generation of people because these kids are going to become adults and they're going to be people who are going to run for government, who are going to be your next doctors, next doctors, next dentists, next teachers, next principals. Like these kids are going to be our future, are going to be what leads the next generation. And if we lose a bunch of different moral standings, if we lose a bunch of practical teaching standings, if, if, if we're not paying attention to how our kids are being brought up, we're going to lose our kids. Kara says she agrees on the Instagram. Let me guys know. Let me know if you guys agree or call in 847-931-1410. This is a real live radio show and you're more than welcome to get in on the conversation. I believe there are a lot of beautiful, awesome kids out there. And I do believe there are a lot of smart kids out there, but there are also a lot of kids that are being brainwashed by the wrong type of medium. Representation is very, very important. Again, we need artists who remember that there are kids out there, there are people out there, but then again, we need parents who need to remember that it's not the responsibility of the artist. It's not, and it's never going to be. It's never going to be. So yes, the artists keep making the music you want to make, but also remember there are people who are going to be looking up to you, whether you like it or not. So maybe sometimes create some music that may be cool for everybody. I mean, hey, win-win. We could try. I mean, I don't, think, I don't think that's a contradiction. Do you guys think that's a contradiction to say, hey, do you as an artist, but remember you're also still affecting the community. So just kind of watch how much you do with your music. Every song don't got to be beat them up, shoot them up, kill them up, drug them up, pregnant, pregnate them up. Like, it, it doesn't need to be that. And I, I, will, I will say this too. Don't think it's just rap music. It's also pop. It's also country. It's also K-pop. There is a lot of things that are being said in many different genres of music. And just, just, don't, just don't think that it's just one specific group of people. It's not just black people. Let's call a spade a spade. It's not just hip-hop. Let's, 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 if we played some, some lyrics from country music, pop music, Shoot, alternative, you would hear some crazy lyrics. <laughs> you really will. And we will get this audio fixed. Um, I, I'm not sure as to why it wasn't playing. You know what? Let me see if I can actually do some. Let me try to um what what's the word for this? Let me try to let me try, let me let me try this. I'm gonna actually put my phone up to the speak the microphone and play it from my phone because I really want you guys to hear. I want you to hear what D1 had to say, and I want you guys to hear how these kids were. <laughs> singing to the song. Let's see if this works. This ain't cool, man. And this ain't cute. But the real question is, what are we going to do about it? It takes artists to make the music. It takes fans to support the music. And it takes adults to figure out what they're going to expose their kids to, right? So first off, as fans, you got to make sure you're not supporting this and you're not promoting this type of music. Matter of fact, you need to be vocal about the fact that you're opposed to this if you really have a problem with it. As artists, we just got to decide when we want to stop being manipulated, man, and letting them use us as pawns. Where they pay us, they give us some fame, but they allow us to aid in the destruction and the brainwashing of our own people. And as adults, you got to be responsible, man. What are you exposing your kids to? What are you allowing them to learn over and over by hearing it repeatedly? Come on, man. This is the year to shift, yo. If we just talk about it and don't take no action, nothing changes. If we don't talk about it, nothing changes for sure. It's the year to shift, yo. The time is right now. I agree. I agree with New Orleans rapper D1. We do have to shift our mindset. We do have to shift our teaching parents to have an active role in their kids' lives. And we do need to start hearing more music that's not just about shoot them up, beat them up, have sex, get, in, get pregnant, leave the parent, all that stuff. Now, while that music is fun to turn up to sometimes, it shouldn't be the only music we have out. That's all I'm saying. You know, have some compromise. Have some balance. All right, guys. 7.1 FM every Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. until 12 p.m. PST out of Las Vegas, Nevada, and now live 
in the Elgin and Chicagoland area on WRMN AM 1410 and 96.7 FM every Monday through Friday from 1 p.m. at 3 p.m. CFT. Culture, business, products, services, music, and more. Hit us up at info at jamie.com. That's I-N-F-O at J-A-I-M-E-E-E.com. And somebody from the team will get to you. Have a great day. It's up. Hey, see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.